And this is the way we're gonna line up on the eighth row in the 15th position, the number 780 of Jean-Paul Leneau. In the 14th position, the 771 of David Killian. In the 13th, it's the 767 of John Robichaud. In the 12th position, the 727 of Rene Turnion. In the 11th position, it's the 716 of Todd Meyer. In the 9th position, in the R787, it's Regis Harrington. In the 8th position, the R5 of Joey Toops. In the 7th position, the 625 of Zach Rouse. In the 6th position, it's the 600 of Everett Thomas. In the 5th, it's the number 21, Ellis Musso. In the 4th position, 627 is Joe Zahavi. In the 3rd position, 688, it's Louis Zervigan. In the 2nd position, outside row 1, the 695 of Miles Zervigan. And on the pole, the 699 of Joseph Ricard. This is going to be 15 laps heat race number two, Rotax Seniors and Masters. Again, this ought to be another good race. Yeah, I agree. Now, Ron, I talked to Team Midway earlier and uh, had a little bit of disappointing outing this last time, but uh, I think they're going to pull it together this Feeling time. Feeling better this time? Yeah, Zach's a great driver. Had a little cart issues last time, but uh, let's see if they bring him back this time. I think okay. they will. And also, Joe Zahabi. You know, I talked to Joe earlier. He had a... Uh, secret weapon he's put on his cart. So really? Let's see if he can use it again. All right, here we go, and we're off. Look, no lights. And they're off. Second wave is off and running. See somebody in the grass back there, Rod. Yeah, it looks like somebody spun around. Looks like they've uh, gotten themselves straightened back out and back on the track and moving. Can't tell exactly who's out in front other than he has a blue cart and a white That's helmet. That's white lighting. That's that white lighting. That's Joe. Wow. Joe jumped right out in front and took off. Well, Joe easily sets the fastest lap so far. He's about two seconds ahead of uh, wow. Miles, who's in second place. Wow. That was a great lap. Opened up uh, with a 46.843. As the uh, Masters come around, Todd Myers in front with a 47.466. So Todd's out in front of Renee. Yep. Renee with a 48.724. So uh, Todd definitely got a great jump as well. So that must have been Ellis that spun earlier. Boy, a great race to come down the front straight away here. And that's the uh, that's the Zervigan family going at it. Son oh, and yeah, father son and father. Son. Yep. Looks like Everett Thomas is in a you know good uh, little catbird seat there to be watching that race between father and son. Got somebody coming in here. Looks like the 787 of uh, Regis Harrington. That's our stunt driver there. Yes, it is. And Joe's a hobby. Man, stretches his lead out. Looks like he's doing pretty well. Look at that number. Turned to 45, 649 that time. He's flying. Oh no, and uh, looks like Team Midway is in. Number 625, looks like he's looking at his car, looking at his cart. Can't really tell if he's got a tire issue or maybe a chain issue or If I had to guess, a flashlight would help. Yeah, it doesn't look like Zach's going to be going to back out, though. Everett Thomas with a 45.824 for his fastest lap. He's in the fourth position in the number 600 cart. That's Everett Thomas. 
And again, those uh, those Zerbagons are going at it. Dad out in front, Miles in this in the third position with Joe Zahavi out in front. Must be Joe passing up a, uh, a back marker there. Yeah, passing up the David Killian and David Matthew's Killian. backs. Okay. So that was not a pass for a position. And once again, he throws down another great time. Wow. So did Lewis Zervigan that time. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Luis is catching up. Joseph Ricard, his fastest lap, 47.677. Todd Meyer with a 46.358. And Joey Toops also put down his fastest time at 48.174. Joe still out in front, followed by Luis. Zervigan still going at it. Everett Thomas once again a 45.704 for the number 600. Another great lap for him. Joey Toops in the R5 with a 48.174. Renee Turnion with his fastest lap in the 727 with a 46.452. The Ronald's watch this battle for uh, first place. So the gap right now between Joe and Luis is about 2.1 seconds. Uh, we'll see them coming around shortly. Looks like they've gotten a little closer for sure. Oh, 1.4, the gap's down over That's half a second. Yeah, he's, he's definitely coming on. He, he just ran a 45.005. That's our second place cart, number 688, Luis Zervagon. Let's see what kind of gap we get here as they come back by. Here comes our leader. They take the halfway flag. Well, looks like Miles is battling with uh, one of the other classes trying to get past. Look how much closer it is now. See if we can get a. Oh, six tenths of a second now between first and second. Luis is certainly reeling in Joe. Come on, Joe. Turn that white lighting on. Charge it up. It's like uh, Everett Thomas slipped by Miles Zervigan. About a second separates those two. That's your uh, third and fourth place battle. So Everett did get back. And Ellis Musso. To turn another fast lap, his best time, 46.438. Also, Everett Thomas, his fastest lap with a 45.610. Man, props go out to Todd Meyer. He was, uh, probably, what, five, six seconds? At least. Yeah. Good job. Good job, Todd. Uh, just went by again, another fast lap, 46.216. Another great time for Todd Meyer in the 716. That's our leaders coming back through the infields. Holy mackerel. Wow. Did you see him come on there? Yep. 
I was very surprised he was able to actually stop from hitting him. So now our leaders got some lap traffic here. Yes, they do, both of them. Uh, Joe gets by. Looks like, uh, oh. They, oh. There goes our first and second. Nose to tail, less than two tenths of a second there. Looks like we just may have had a pass for the lead in the outer part of the track. Although Joe Zahavi turned right back around and grabbed it right back from, uh, from Louise. It's a great race. They're coming back through the middle of the track here. Looked like Luis had managed to get, a, get out in front of uh, Joe, but... Uh, Ooh, Luis overtook that corner for yes, sure. Yes, he lost, did. Lost a couple cents. We've got to report some lightning way on the horizon. Northeast. Let it stay there. Yep. Let's pull up the weather report real quick. Rene Turnion turned his fastest lap, 46.411 his last time by. So did John Paul Leno in the 780 with a 46.579. Still, that battle goes on for first and second. Here comes our leaders onto the front stretch. Joe Zahavi in front. Louis Zerbicon, that's the white flag last lap for the Rotax Seniors and Masters. Super Sportsman, here's your two minute warning. Two minute warning, Super Sportsman to the grid. To the grid, get ready for heat race number two. You're gonna go 15 laps. Ron, they are beating and banging. On the yes, they are. I'm telling you, Lewis has gotten by him earlier, but uh, Joe got right back around him. Now remember, uh, Luis was strong in the oval up here. Let's see, yep. see if he makes his move. That's his last chance. I wonder if this time he's going to dive dive down. Look, he... Nope. Oh, can't quite get it done. That was a great race. Good race, guys. Great race. And he ran, he ran his fastest lap of the race with a 45.358. Good job, Joe. Well done. Excellent job. Looks like we're going to have one pickup before we get ready to go back racing for our super sportsman. It's going to be 15 laps here. We'll... Uh, We'll send out the crash cart, let it pick up the cart, get the driver back in here safely. We'll get back right back to racing. And hopefully once we do, we'll uh, get these sportsmen finished and the shifters finished, and then uh, we'll take ourselves a quick little dinner break. Don't forget to go over and get yourself a deep dog, some hamburgers, and all those fun things over at our cart cafe. They still there, Wes? Still there. I'm thinking right. about, kind of dreaming about a hamburger right now. Sorry. I lost you there for a second. Yep. I'm thinking about that uh, Apex burger. I caught you on the Apex. Huh? Yep, yep. I was kind of scoping out the line over there, trying to figure out if I should make my break before the, uh, the line gets big. Probably not a bad time to go. So, Ron, let's run down that, uh, that finishing order. All right, here we go. From the top of the row is number 625, Joe Zahavi. He and Louis Zervagon in the second place in 688 had a great, great race, as well as the 600 at Everett Thomas in third position. Miles Zervagon in the 695 and fourth. Todd Meyer, first in his group in the Rotax Masters Max in the 716. Alice Musso in the 21 and sixth. Jean-Paul Leno in seventh. Rene Turnion in eighth. 
Joseph Ricard in ninth position, David Killian in tenth, Joey Toops in the eleventh position, and Zach Rouse and Regis Harrington unable to complete the event. But we're getting ready to go super sportsman racing.